real reason why Alexa Bliss was quickly eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Alexa Bliss has been gradually built up as a threat on Monday Night Raw. Her bizarre persona could have caused some unpredictable chaos in the Women's Royal Rumble, which is why she proved to be a common threat to all of the women in the ring. So it made a lot of sense when several WWE superstars jumped her at the Royal Rumble. An opportunity opened up when Alexa Bliss began transforming into her darker persona, and Ray Ripley immediately capitalized on it to eliminate Bliss from the equation. Unlike Monday Night Raw, Bliss had no time to soak in the last few moments before her transformation, which cost her the match eventually. In a nutshell, the narrative here could be that Bliss was outsmarted by Ray Ripley and the other competitors. It may not be the most appealing conclusion, but it is a simple way to explain why Bliss couldn't live up to her status at the Royal Rumble. When Alexa Bliss began to showcase her dark side, it should have instantly indicated that something was about to go wrong. On Monday Night Raw, the magical aspects of Alexa's storyline with Randy Orton are pre-taped. But in a Royal Rumble setting on live television, there is no scope to pull off a magical transformation right away. Alexa Bliss also came out as her playful persona, which further hinted that she was about to be eliminated from the match without the luxury of being able to transform into a stronger character. The aforementioned plot points were intentionally inserted into the Royal Rumble to justify Alexa's elimination from the match. Not only did she have a huge target on her back, but from a technical standpoint, there was no way she could have escaped her eventual fate in a live setting. One may even say, that Alexa Bliss was doomed right from the start when she decided to come out as her playful character instead of the more dangerous, goth persona. It's the same argument why The Fiend has better chances of surviving in a Royal Rumble match rather than Bray Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse character. Botched ending in Roman Reigns' last man standing match revealed. At WWE Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns faced Kevin Owens in a last man standing match. While Reigns was able to retain his WWE Universal Championship, the ending of the match was botched due to the current champion's inability to get free of the handcuffs in time. At the pay-per-view, Jey Uso was noticeably missing, as he has been since his last appearance on January 15. However, that did not stop Reigns from using questionable means to win his match against Owens. The two battled all around the stadium, as each superstar did their utmost to keep the other one down. Both tried and failed numerous times, with their battle continuing on the ramp, among the lead screens of the WWE Thunderdome, backstage on tables and a forklift, and finally next to a steel fixture. It was there when the two superstars were battling among the steel fixtures that Roman Reigns emerged with handcuffs, clearly intending to restrict Owen's ability to get up. Owens managed to use this to his advantage and hooked Roman Reigns to the fixture with the handcuff instead. The Universal Champion was almost unable to get up and so stopped the count by pulling the referee into a steel beam, knocking him unconscious. Paul Heyman appeared to try and help him get free with the key to the handcuffs when a second referee appeared to continue the count. Reigns had incapacitated Owens with the low blow, but the referee was halfway through his count when it was clear that something had gone wrong. Roman Reigns' handcuff was not coming loose, and the referee had to awkwardly stop the count. Reigns came to a squatting position soon after to help the moment make sense. Heyman and Reigns frantically worked on the handcuff until finally it came loose, but it was obvious to anyone watching that the referee had to stop because something had gone wrong with the handcuffs, making for a rather awkward moment. Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns had been feuding since the end of 2020, and the duo even faced each other in a TLC match at the pay-per-view of the same name. There, Reigns got the help of Jey Uso to secure the win and proceeded to assault Owens to continue their feud over the next few weeks. While he thought he had put Owens behind him and turned his attention to Adam Pearce, Kevin Owens returned when he least expected. Adam Pearce was originally supposed to face Roman Reigns at the WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view, but he changed things up at the last moment, citing an old knee injury. Instead, Kevin Owens stepped into his place.